Hey guys, welcome to another Tip Tuesday. This was actually a requested Tip Tuesday, which are must-have RV accessories, uh, whether you're a first-time camper or a long-time camper, really. So as you know, I'm not the expert in a lot of these. I've got the expert here with me. This is Sean. Sean is our parts manager over here at uh, the parts department. Yeah. Walnut Ridge, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. So Sean, I don't necessarily have a number in mind. Let's go through some of the things that come to mind for you immediately when you think must-haves when you buy your first camper or, or just own a camper. Any camper, yeah. yeah. So the first thing that comes to mind is a surge protector. So that's why I want to start over here. Whether you have a 30 amp or a 50 amp trailer, I believe this is something you have to have on it. If you have a transformer blow in the campground, any of these is going to protect you from that high surge of power coming in. And then there are higher models that will protect you against brownouts, low power issues in the campground. This is something that you have, that you must have, whether you have a first time camper or you have one forever. So this essentially is going to protect all of my electronics in my camper. And something as simple as having this keeps that safe not having this you can do a lot of expensive damage and i'm oh, yeah. sure campgrounds probably have it written in there that they're not responsible for it right? they're not liable no no and just just replacing your refrigerator is about eighteen hundred dollars so surge protector is worth it absolutely all right let's go to number two right on okay guys we are standing in front of number two completely <laughs> Un unscripted coincidence uh a, a really crappy topic but an important topic uh sean what are we staying in front of so this is your sugar house fittings on all your campers are going to be the same so it doesn't matter what brand you go with it's going to hook up and then the dump stations are always the same so sewer hoses are pretty much universal brand is all you're looking for 20 foot section is what we highly recommend because if you do get somewhere and you don't need all 20 feet you can break it down into a 10 foot section and that makes it a lot easier for you Awesome. All right, let's move on to number three. Right. Again, no particular order. I feel like they're all extremely important Absolutely. things to have. But number three on our list would be making your drinking water great, but also protecting things like your toilet and stuff, right? Right, and your sink. Okay, right. what are we at here, bud? Well, I mean, I'm sure you know. Most yeah. campgrounds have well water, so it's, it's going to stain your sink orange, and it smells terrible. Awesome. So water filters take a lot of that harsh chemical out of the water. These are all inline filters, so they are just, when they're done, throw them away, you replace them. We have multiple different ones in the store, some that last 90 days, some that last up to a year, and then we have bigger inline filters where you just replace the filters. But either way, this definitely helps with the water situation, and it's a must-have. One tip from a camper to either another camper or future campers, hook these up at the spigot. Put the weight on the spigot don't put them up at the camper itself because right. you're going to put a lot of extra weight on where you're connecting that so hook these up at the spigot it's just easier to take care of it that end too okay since we're already on the topic of water we've got the poo water covered we've got the clean water and drinking water covered We've covered how to protect your electric in your camper. Mm -hmm. What can we do to protect our plumbing in our camper? All right, so the plumbing in your camper is all PEX fittings. So those can hold about 120 pounds of pressure before they blow. And if they blow behind the wall, that's not good. You're gonna have water problems. So a water pressure regulator is something we definitely recommend people to have before they leave here. This just drops down the water pressure at the campgrounds because they do have to bump it up. They have so many sites. So we have two different kinds. Some will keep it between 55 and 60 if you want a stronger shower, and some will just drop it down to 40 if you're just wanting to be safe. Oh, cool. Yep. Okay, number five, let's go. We're on to number five on our list. I'm not sure how many we're gonna go. We're just gonna keep going. Sounds good. I mean, I'm sure we're gonna hit a number where it's like, okay, now this isn't really a necessity. This is like a, a nice thing to have, right? Yeah. yeah. What's something, where are we at now, something you consider a necessity? So every camper that comes through, as long as it has slides, it's gonna need some sort of slide maintenance. So we have two different kinds down here. We have the RV slide lubricant. So this is for slide outs that have the gigantic gear, the ram mechanism underneath, and that's a dry lubricant for those gears. And then there's the seal saver. So that is for the black slide seals around the outside of the slide outs, they're black rubber. You just spray it on, let it dry, and that lubricates those seals and keeps them from uh, dry rotting. So this next one I kind of picked, I think Sean agrees with me, um, and I'll let Sean talk about it, but it's something that I didn't originally have on my camper. We added on not long after, and man, I'm glad I did yeah. because I'm forgetful and you know, we're always doing all these things to protect our campers from getting wet, mm -hmm. getting water in them. 
and this has been a lifesaver. So oh, yeah. Sean, what do we got? No, you're absolutely right. This isn't necessarily a necessity, but this is something that a lot of our more experienced campers take advantage of. So these are max air vents. Every single camper has a crank vent inside the unit, either manual or automatic. This just goes over that. So if you do for, forget to close the lid and you, you won't have to worry about water coming in, you, it lets air circulate through the unit. So mm -hmm. if you leave your unit parked for a week, permanent campground, you're not gonna come back. It's not gonna be hot or stuffy. It'll be light air in there. Yeah, because I, like I was saying, I can't tell you the number of times on a Sunday we've left the campground, we've went through our closing things up for the week, yeah. but we forgot to close that vent. And if we wouldn't have, and it rained that week, uh, it'd have been a nightmare. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I can think of one more I wanna drag you over to, okay? Absolutely. Let's go do it. The last thing that I wanted to pick for our list is I'm big on easy, like boom, take me in, get it done. I know that these guys here will walk you through the store and help you find the items and explain why you need them. But man, talk about easy. I can just go grab one of these bad boys, pay for it, walk out the door and I'm set. Sean, what are these? So these are bundle kits. We brought these into the store about two years ago and there's three different sizes, as you can see, ranging from silver, gold to platinum. And as you work your way up, you just get more and more stuff that you need. And then you even end up having some extra. That was another Tip Tuesday. Thank you very much for the suggestion on what to do. If there's something particular you guys want to see, leave a comment down below for our Tip Tuesday in the coming weeks. If there was something you saw in the store that you want more explanation on, or you feel like maybe we left out a necessary accessory, leave a comment down below as well. I'll grab Sean, the expert here. We'll do another video for you. Sean, as always, thank you so much for doing the video. No problem. Really appreciate it. It was a good time. All right, guys. Till next week.